trucks and hauling freight down the hills and round the bends. Oh, hey, hey, Thomas and his friends. Gordon was feeling grumpy. This was making James cross. Why are you complaining all the time? Because I'm a big blue engine and I know everything. I shall complain whenever I want. You're just a small red engine with ideas above your station. I can't see any, said Percy. Where are they? Any what? Ideas above the station. The sky is empty. Like your smoke box, Percy, laughed James. But Gordon was still grumpy. One day I'll show you just what a big engine can really do. So what can a big engine really do? Not speak to silly little green engines for a start, replied Gordon, and he puffed away. Later that day, the fat controller came to see him. Gordon, you'll be making one stop today with an empty express to test our new station. You can make up time afterwards. Why can't Henry do it? He likes idling in stations. You will do as you are told, came the blunt reply. So Gordon did. But he was still unhappy, and he grew sick too. I just can't get up to speed, he moaned. It's time for your visit to the works. Your pipes are clogged, said the fireman. At last they approached the new station. Gordon was impressed, but his mood soon changed. In front of him was a blank wall and huge buffers. What a boring view, he grunted. Important engines like me should have a panoramic view, where I can see people and people can see me. And he wished angrily. Gordon was happy when it was time to leave. Now you really can enjoy your run, as long as your pipes will let you, said his driver. Come on, come on, I can go faster than this, huffed Gordon. Sick? Me? Never. But Gordon began to feel more and more feeble, and soon he came to a complete stop. What happened? he exclaimed. His driver and fireman inspected him. Something's broken inside you, Gordon, said his fireman. Now you really will have to go to the works. Gordon was still fuming when James arrived to collect his coaches. Well, 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 so much for knowing about everything. You got too puffed up in your boiler, so it serves you right. When Gordon returned from the works a few days later, he was still boasting. I am the finest engine on the island of Sodor, probably the finest in the world. Come on, Gordon, we're going to the official opening of the new station. Then there was trouble. As Gordon approached the new station, neither the driver or fireman could apply his brakes. Something had jammed. The driver reduced steam, but Gordon was still going too fast. Help me, please! <laughs> Well, Gordon, said the fat controller, I knew you wanted a panoramic view, but this is not the way to achieve it. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir, muttered Gordon. When Gordon was repaired again, he took the fat controller to the new station for its second official opening. time he arrived safely and everyone clapped and cheered as he pulled in. The fat controller spoke to him. Your panoramic view is here to stay. I trust you will always see through it from the safety of your own rails. Gordon heartily agreed. 